What's going on everyone? John Venus here. Welcome back to another recipe video. Today I have a treat for you guys. It's going to be a high protein homemade ice cream, which is something that we love making. And having ice cream doesn't have to be unhealthy. It can be a very healthy version of an ice cream. And that is what we're going to be making today. So here are the ingredients that you're going to be needing. Uh, we got hemp seeds right here. We have a little bit of soy milk or any plant milk of your choice. We have some frozen bananas, some frozen blueberries, and some kiwi, some Ceylon cinnamon, and finally some protein powder. So this ice cream is gonna come to 42 grams of protein, which is pretty insane. I just got back from the gym, I'm starving, so I'm looking forward to get this carb and protein feast into my system right away to make some gains. But first, let's go through each ingredient in more detail. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna be needing for this recipe is 360 grams or 7.5 ounces of frozen bananas. I prefer freezing my bananas when they're perfectly ripe. I always keep some on hand in the freezer for whenever I need to make some ice cream or a cold smoothie. The riper the banana, the sweeter the ice cream or the smoothie is gonna be, so that is why I recommend ripening them before freezing them. So since we're having quite a bit of banana, this actually boosts up the protein intake to four grams of protein just for the bananas alone, which is a nice little boost. Next up, we have the soy milk or any milk of your choice. The reason why I use soy milk is because it's high in protein but choose a milk that you prefer no judgment here so using 50 milliliters or 1.7 ounces for this one and that boosts the protein intake by another two grams but this is just to make the bananas easier to blend when they're super hard you may need less or you may need more depending on how hard your bananas are uh, that sounded weird next up we got the hemp seeds another great source of protein also a uh, protein source that is very high in all nine essential amino acids, high in omega-3s. This is something that you should definitely be including in your diet. We got three tablespoons, and that is gonna add another 10 grams of protein, which is amazing. Next up, we have one chopped kiwi. This is also going to be for the topping, not inside the ice cream, although I'm sure you can uh, put it inside if you want to. And then next, we have some blueberries. This is just a very small amount. You can add as much or as little as you want. I just like them as a topping. Just like the kiwi, the blueberries add a little bit of a sour twist to the ice cream uh, on top, so it's really nice. Then we have just under one tablespoon of cinnamon. It's quite a lot, so if you don't enjoy a very cinnamony tasting ice cream, use less or use cacao powder or vanilla extract or whatever you guys prefer. And finally, we have the protein powder, which is going to be providing the majority of the protein for this ice cream. So I'm using 35 grams, which is one scoop of the Viva Life acai and blueberry protein. You can use any protein flavor or brand of your choice. I just choose Viva Life because I'm sponsored by them. And the reason why I've always supported them is because they really prioritize health. They test for heavy metals, pesticides, herbicides, and they have no GMO ingredients, no artificial stuff in there. So that's why I recommend it. Link in the description box if you want to check it out. All right, so let's get started. We're going to be using a food processor like this to blend up the bananas. If you have a very high speed mixer or blender, you can use that instead. Or if you don't have a very uh, you know potent blender, you can also use a you know bad blender if you want to, as long as the bananas aren't too hard. So you want to defrost them more the weaker your blender is. So let's get started throwing in the frozen bananas into the processor right now. And then I'm gonna throw in two-thirds of the hemp seeds because we're gonna be using some of it as a topping. And then we're gonna be adding one scoop of the Viva Life protein powder. <clears throat> I'm using the acai blueberry just because this is the only one that I have left but if I could I would have used the salted maca caramel or the vanilla or the banana cinnamon one so this comes to a 35 gram scoop and then the cinnamon and finally the soy milk all right Noah get ready for some noise all right put your hands to your ears it's gonna be noisy like this okay you ready Alright, so it should be done. Let's check out the consistency right now. You can see that the consistency is pretty spot on. So, depending on how frozen your banana is, Catherine, what are you doing? <laughs> Checking the consistency. Yeah, what do you think? It's like a perfect soft serve. Time to serve up the ice cream. I'm going fancy today using one of these fancy glass bowls. Man, this is gonna be so good. Can't wait to eat this. 
perfect post-workout meal. This is the ice cream. Catherine, would you mind helping me with the decoration because we do need a thumbnail. Quite a lot of hemp seeds sprinkling left. Sprinkling over the hemp seeds. Put it around like this. Catherine's got decoration mm -hmm. skills right there. And then for the- Married a good one. <laughs> and you guys don't have to be this fancy at home. We're just doing this for you guys. So there you go, fancy ice cream. Okay guys, it's now time for the most exciting part of the video. We're gonna try the ice cream out and I'm the first one to go, right? Yeah, <laughs> he's excited for it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Mmm, that's good, Noah. Yeah. yeah? Noah wants to try. <laughs> you want to try? All right, don't be impatient, bro. Here you go. Try this. What do you think? No. no? Okay. <laughs> okay. I I'd say. I think it was the toppings. Yeah, Noah's a bit conflicted. <laughs> what about you, Catherine? Your turn. Catherine, you can always trust Catherine's. Reviews, so if, if she says it's good, it must be good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's very cinnamony, but I like it. Cinnamony? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you guys don't like cinnamon, use cacao powder or something else, mm -hmm. or, or chili, vanilla. or vanilla. salt, or cumin powder. No. no? <laughs> All right, guys, so amazing quick recipe as well. Now, this is gonna be giving me a lot of protein for after my workout. It's gonna give me a lot of carbs. And I know a lot of people are scared of fruits and sugar and carbs and stuff like that. But remember that bananas and fruits in general are not like table sugar. It's not like maple syrup. They have fiber attached to it and tons of other nutrients. So it's definitely not something that you wanna skip in your diet. Anyways, let me know if you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, of course, if you want to subscribe to the channel to see more of these videos, feel free to do so. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Peace out.